Or this is to you'd like to share how to solve this differential equation. As we can see, y and x are of different degree, y to the power 1, x to the power negative 1, and they are not separable for this case. Luckily, you can see that this is first order linear differential equation, so which means that we can apply the integrating factor method. So what we have to do here is try our best to rewrite the equation in the form of dy dx plus px times y is equal to qx. Since we need y on the left hand side, so which means that we bring this to the left and we should have dy dx plus px should be negative 1 over x. Same plus move over become minus times y is equal to x. By comparing, we should obtain px is equal to negative 1 over x while qx is equal to x. With px, we can determine the integrating factor now. So it's equal to exponent integrate px dx. Substitute the value negative 1 over x dx. This negative we can consider as negative 1. For constant negative 1, we can take out. So which means that we should have e negative 1 times integrate 1 over x is equal to ln x. According to the law of logarithms, coefficient we can change to Power. So which means that this is e to the power of ln x to the power of negative 1. To the power of negative 1 is actually 1 over x. So we have e to the power of ln 1 over x. e ln or ln e is 1. So which means that we should have 1 over x. With this integrating factor, we can rewrite the differential equation. Consider the general form. So we have Integrating factor times y, when we differentiate with respect to x, we should obtain the integrating factor times qx. Substitute the value that we obtain, so which means that we have this is 1 over x times y is equal to this is also 1 over x times qx is x. And we should integrate both sides with respect to x. Integrate, differentiate, cancel each other, no more. dx, cancel dx, no more. So which means that on the left hand side, we left only y over x is equal to 1 over x times x is equal to 1. Integrate 1, we should obtain x with constant c. So which means that y over x is equal to x plus c times the entire equation by x and we should obtain y is equal to x squared plus cx and we done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.